Okay, so today we're going to be looking at adding an assignment um, that has a uh, an app attached. In this case, uh, one of the Google Drive assignments. So uh, I'm going to explain to you both how to do it and what the advantage is for both you and the students. So I'm going to call this uh, assignment the College Data Project. I'm already in the assignment sheet and I've just set everything up. Okay, I've also, prior to starting, I also um, got my assignment in um, my Google Drive ready to go because I have to attach it uh, now. Maybe you can do it after the fact but I just already made it. And all mine is is it's a blank spreadsheet because I'm just going to ask students to enter data from the surveys they did in class um, and you know, onto the sheet and then insert a chart and they're later going to import this chart into uh, their college project slides. So they all just surveyed people about their you know, preferences about where to go to college and that type of thing. Okay, so um, but this is a fake assignment so that we don't see everybody's names but here I'm going to click on Google Drive assignments okay and you can see it's here it's created uh, when you create it don't Jimmy with the privacy or the sharing every student once they get it once they click on it as part of the assignment they have their own unique um, you know copy of it it automatically does that for you so all you have to do is attach um, and now it's here. So I had attached it right over here and now you can see it's shown up. You can still add a file or a link or something to it, uh, but you can just like you always could for directions, but they can only, you can only add one of these Google Drive assignments um, per assignment because that's where they type it and that's where you correct it. Okay, so now I'm going to create that. All right, and now um, you can see it's here. It's also in my grade book. If I go to my grade book, it'll say College Data Project, and I click on it. Okay, so it says the assignment. That's where we are now. If you had added any other documents as I did on mine, uh, it will uh, have it here as well. It'll tell you which students are in progress and which students have finished submitting it. Of course, we don't have any students, but uh, they'll, if they did, their work would pop up here, and I'll show you what that looks like. I think from my class, I'm going to try to just use a little bit of a window to cover it. Okay, so now I have these sort of artfully arranged um, uh, little win mini windows so that I'm not revealing identities on online because um, it's just a lot to blur out over the course of a video but over here you're going to see each student's name and you click on each one and then their assignment pops up so you can see this student's assignment popped up he made his chart his uh, little entered his data he's got his chart he made it you can see he made a mistake he must not have grabbed males and females because that's not here so when I went here I gave him a grade and you click on it you give the grade and then you can insert that comment so I made him aware of that issue over there and then I'll just go on to the next student it takes a little bit less time to load that way than a typical as you know assignment where you're kept to keep getting into the Google Docs it comes up a lot faster you can grade it there you're not toggling back and forth between screens so it's a nice little tool to use just by having it set up uh, as always there's glitches here and there but uh, hopefully they'll get worked out and that's it thanks